Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, a channel where I try and show the fun that can be had in the world of Variant Sudoku. And today I'm doing that with a puzzle called Reverb by Erin Toller. Um, Erin submitted this puzzle a while ago, just before I went on holiday, I think. Um, and um, we've had a couple of discussions about color and contrast. Um, I have to admit, I am not a huge fan of these really thick contrast lines because when you put a digit on the line, it kind of can disappear into the background um, and be a little bit tricky to see. Um, but apart from that, um, I, I'm really curious about this one. So um, I don't think I've got anything to call out other than, of course, um, people who are interested in seeing some of the packs I've released um, before, check out the link to the puzzle packs that is in the description below. Um, it is a link to my Patreon page, but it is open to everyone. I'm using it as basically a free publishing forum, which is supported by the people who do support me, but you don't need to. You don't even need to sign up as a free member of my Patreon to access the packs. And there's uh, hundreds and hundreds of puzzles there. Um, um, so feel free to give those a look because I recently had someone comment that they didn't even know that I'd released um, because I recently did the um, Sudoku Takeout something irregular pack. They didn't even know I had done a Sudoku Takeout pack the month before that, um, but uh, that's where they get published. Let's have a look at Reverb by Erin Toller. So it's normal six by six Sudoku rules apply. Apply So into every row, into every column, and into every one of these marked regions, which is basically the, the two by three boxes, we have to put the digits one to six without repeats. So into this region, this region, and into every row and column, we have to put the digits one through six without repeats. Then there's these echo lines, which I have had a clarification on. Indigo lines are filled with a repeat repeating sequence of one or more different digits. The full sequence must appear at least twice along the line and must always repeat in its entirety. Different lines may contain different sequences. So what does that mean? Well, along this line, there must be a sequence of digits. So let's say this was one and two, then there must be at least two different sequences. So this would have to then go one and two because one, two, one, two is a sequence of digits. Um, I couldn't go one, two, three um, along this line because then I couldn't start a new sequence because I'd then have to put one, two, three into that cell. One, two, three, one, two, three can't fit on a four cell line. I could potentially go one, 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 but I can't on this line because these can't be the same. So, uh, but whatever the sequence is that goes along this line must repeat. Um, so yeah, whatever, and because they're a repeating sequence of one or more different digits, they must be in order. So they repeat as you go along the line. So that's an interesting constraint. Little killers, digits on the marked diagonals by the digits outside must sum to the given total. So this nine indicates that those two digits sum to nine. This nine indicates that those two digits sum to nine. Um, crop key dots is actually consecutive pairs, um, which is fine. Basically, digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive. So those are consecutive digits. Those are consecutive digits. Those are consecutive digits. Um, I'm going to, I basically had a chat with Erin, a little bit of a chat about how these rules work after one of my testers um, raised a question and got uh, confused on some original wording, which has been cleaned up a bit. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know these sum to nine. So the only way you can do that is with three, six, or four, five, because I'm only working with the digits one through six. So I can never put a one or a two in those cells. And I can never put a one or a two in those cells, but I don't think that's how to start. I think I need to look at these sequence lines because whatever that digit is, right, on a four cell sequence line, it, it either has to be a two or a four cell sequence because the, the sequence on the line has to be the has to be a, a factor of the length of the line because you could do a factor of a single digit, except for those would be the same. I can't do four doesn't divide into three. So I can't do a three digit long sequence. Um, it does divide into two. So I could do a two digit long sequence. It could divide into four. Uh, actually, no, it says that 
you do realize that the sequence must appear at least twice. So it can't be a four cell long sequence. So it can't be three because I can't do six divided by three doesn't, it doesn't work. Sorry, four divided by three doesn't work. So it's a one or a two cell sequence on all of these lines. And this one can't be a one cell sequence because those digits can't be the same. So this digit and this digit, this goes to here, then goes to here, and these are a different digit. Now, this one could be four different digits. It could be the same digit. This could be a one cell sequence. Now, I don't know much about yellow because yellow is in the same box, but I do know green has to be up here and it can't be yellow. So it's in one of those two. And gr actually, green is in one of those two. No, green is here. Okay, so green by Sudoku, these are the same digit by the sequence on the echo line. So green has to be down here, but green can't be here. Because if this is a one cell sequence line, all of these are green, which it couldn't be. But if this is a two cell sequence line, because it can't be three or four, because four, it means that the sequence doesn't appear at least twice. And if it was three, the line would be broken. Then this would be green. And it can't be. So if this is green, the line is broken. So this is green. Can I repeat that logic? I don't know anything about yellow. It does put green in one of those three. Well, it can't be there. Green is in one of those two. Green is in one of those two and one of those three. So green can't be here. Because if green, oh no, green could be here because that would repeat here. Green can't, green is in one of those two. It can't be there because that would put it there. Because this is either a two cell line or a, or a four cell line. Two cell line, those are the same. Four cell line, they're all the same. And they can't all be the same. So this is a two cell line. Now this can't be green because then those, would be the same digit. So green is up here and green is down here. Could those be green? That would make that green. If this is green, well, hang on a minute. These, let's look at this a different way. These are, I'm going to get rid of this. This is not contributing anything. These are the same digit. And must be there. Using the same logic. Because this by Sudoku, it's in one of those two. If it was here, then it would be here. And that would cause a conflict because of the same logic. If this was a two cell line, it's here. And if it's a one cell line, it's in all of them. So that and that are definitely the same digit. So this can't be yellow, so yellow is here. Now, if green was here, would that work? Does this have to be green, making all of those green? Those could all be green. Now, if green was here, what would happen? Down here, green would be here, and that would put green here. It doesn't work. Right, yellow must be green. Because if yellow isn't green, green goes here, now down here, the only place for green is here, which puts green here. And that doesn't work because I've got two greens in the box. So yellow must be green. So I can select yellow and make them green. Okay. And they must be three, four, five or... Right, these must be from three, four, five, six, because they're on the nine diagonals. So these, can those be the same, di actually must those be the same digit? I don't know. Well, actually, those are the same digit. Because 
whatever green is, that is the other digit that sums to nine. So if it's six, it's three. If it's five, it's four. If it's four, it's five. And if it's three, it's six. So this is the other half of the three, four, five, six. So orange in this box is up here. Orange in this box is on this dot. Orange is on this dot. So one is in one of these, because I can't put one here, but I could put two there. Could these be the same digit? That digit is there. If it was also there, it would have to be there. No, that doesn't work. These have to be different digits. If these were the same digit, let's call them red. Oh no, let's use yellow. I've been using yellow as my testing color. Then in this box, they're on here. But if it's here, it must be here, which puts it here, which puts it here. Because if this is be a two cell line, because that would eliminate all of those and that one eliminates there. It puts it here, which puts it here and I've got two yellows. These are different. So this is one color, let's make it blue. And this is a different color, let's make it red. These are different. So this can't be a six now because both of those would have to be five. There's no six in green. So green, which is, yeah, this is three, four, five, six. Green is not, no, I wanna select the color. Green is not six, whoops. Green is not six. Now, if green was three, so this is, orange is not three. Now, if green was three, This would be, t that doesn't work either. Oh, that's beautiful. No, maybe it does. Now, if this is three, this is six. It Hang on, if this is four or five, actually, I think green has to be three. Because if this is four, this becomes five. Because this can't be orange. If this is four, this becomes five. But if this is four, this is four, and one of those needs to be five because they can't be the same because that breaks this line. So if this is four, one of those is five, but that is five and that's broken. If this is five... That becomes four, but one of those needs to be four to be consecutive with the five because they can't be the same. Green is three, which means orange is six. And these are two and four and must be different. There is a six down here. This is a five, six. I can get rid of all the green coloring. I can get rid of all the orange coloring. These are one, two, and four. So this is one, two, or four. That's a one, two, four. So this is a five, making that a four. So there's no four there. This is actually a two. There is no two here. This is the two, and this is the one. The two means that's the four, and I can completely get rid of the coloring. The four means that's the four because the sequence has to repeat on the line. That's the one. These, one, two, three, four, and five. 
These are one, two, and six. And I can't put, if I put six on this dot, I'd need the five. So this is the six. This is the one, two. Two, well, this is a two because the sequence line, if this is um, a sequence of one, then they're all two. And if it's a sequence of two, it's two A, two A. Either way, that's a two making that the one and that the two. And now this is a two by the sequence line. These two digits are two and five. And the two makes that the five and that the this the two, this is consecutive with two and it can't be a three. So that's the one, meaning this is the five, meaning this is the five by the sequence line, making that the four, that the five. This is the one. The five looks down, making that the six, that the five. These are one, four, and six. There's no four in either of those. That's the four. The one looks across, making that the six, that the one. This is a four, six, and the six looks across, making that the four, that the four and that the six. Now that was a 12 minute solve. My tester took way longer than that. Actually, I had two testers and the shortest tester came in at just over 20 minutes. I'm really worried I got something wrong there, but the puzzle came out correctly. And I know that these had to be different because if they were the same, then that digit would have been forced to be the same on those. So these, once this was proven to be the same digit, which definitely was the case, these had to be different. And with those being different and this being, this couldn't be four, five. If this had been four, five, then this would have all broken because I would have needed, if four here would have needed a five in one of those two and a five there, which doesn't work. And the same with a five here would have needed a four in one of those two and a four there. It doesn't work. So those consecutive dots broke it open, which is beautiful. Yeah, that all works. So it's a 12 minute solve. Okay. If you're looking for something longer, there's heaps of other puzzles on the channel. Or as I said, go check out the puzzle pack stuff below. Some of the puzzles in there take hours to solve. Um, that was really cool. That was really interesting. I like that one. And it was just the right amount of coloring just to figure out what was going on. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Thank you, Erin. Really appreciate the puzzle. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool stuff. Um, sorry, I'm a bit flabbergasted. I was not expecting to solve this one quite that quickly. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy the content. And yeah, as always, like, subscribe. You've got to say that. I don't say that often enough according to YouTube. Um, and uh, yeah, please provide comments below. I'm sure Erin will be paying attention. Um, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving. <laughs>